So, you've made the wise decision to build a website. That's an excellent move. Given that in 2023, creating a digital presence, whether personal or business purposes, is crucial. In this video, I'll present my guide on creating your first WordPress website step by step. I'm Jake, a web creator. From my experience, I've assembled this all-inclusive guide on creating a WordPress website, even if, and especially if, you don't know how to code. This guide is tailor-made for beginners. If you've never designed a website or aren't familiar with WordPress, you're in the right place. Should you have a question or perhaps need clarification on something, don't hesitate to ask in the video comments section. I'm here to assist with any queries you may have as you create your first WordPress website. This is what I do best. Before diving into the website building process, let's clarify two critical points that might already be on your mind. The reasons for choosing WordPress and the associated costs. First, why opt for WordPress? Despite various website building platforms in 2023 like Wix, Squarespace or Webflow, WordPress stands out as the superior and most professional choice. I'm not alone in my preferences for WordPress. Astonishingly, it powers 43% of all websites globally. This platform is the ultimate engine for websites, which means you're never on your own. You'll find WordPress communities willing to help with any challenges you may encounter across all social networks and worldwide. There's an array of WordPress freelancers on platforms like Upwork and Fiverr ready to assist with any difficulty. WordPress offers thousands of plugins and pre-made designs, helping you achieve attractive outcomes while saving time and costs. Based on my experience, WordPress has provided solutions for all types of websites, from personal portfolios to complex content sites. WordPress is the top choice among web creators, developers, and designers who build the internet. Its biggest selling point is the full control it offers over your website. This flexibility distinguishes WordPress from its competitors. Being open source, WordPress grants you ownership over your content. You can freely move your site and content to another hosting provider, control the features, and design and even modify the operating system's source code. In summary, you can mold the WordPress environment to perfectly suit your needs. I can confidently say it just works. So we've covered the why, but what's the cost of a WordPress site? Wait, isn't WordPress supposed to be free? You may have seen this somewhere. Well, the answer is no. Building a WordPress website does cost money. Although the WordPress CMS is open source and available for free download, you'll still incur costs for associated services like a domain name, storage and hosting, templates, a page builder, plugins, and so on. I'll delve into these details shortly. Calculating the exact cost of building a website can be tricky because it depends on numerous factors like the type of website you're building, special features, custom designs, development, visitor numbers, and so on. Plus, you'll need to factor in the time spent by a professional building your website. Essentially, there's no upper limit to how much you can invest in a website. In this guide, I will demonstrate how to create a basic WordPress website yourself for less than $200 per year. This adaptability is part of the beauty of WordPress. What components form a WordPress website? There are six elements to a WordPress site. Domain name. This is your website's address. For example, yourname.com. Hosting, this is where you'll store your website files. WordPress CMS, this helps manage your website content, including pages, images, permissions, and more. A theme, this dictates your website's overall structure. A website builder, this helps in building, designing, and editing your website's content. Plugins, these add extra functionality to your website. In the past, you had to gather these six components from various vendors, paying for each separately, installing each component independently, and dealing with any incompatibilities or complications on your own. Thankfully, things have changed for the better in 2023. So, how to build a modern, professional WordPress website without the headache? The answer is Elementor. What started as a page builder plugin in 2016 has grown into an industry-leading WordPress platform, providing everything you need for a superior WordPress website in one place. 
The Elementor package includes Elementor Hosting, Elementor Hello Theme, Elementor Website Builder Plugin, Elementor Library, and Elementor AI. Before we proceed, let's dissect each component Elementor brings to your WordPress website. This will help you rest assured that you're making the right choice. So, what does Elementor's all-in-one package contain? Elementor Hosting is a WordPress hosting plan that comes pre-configured with the WordPress CMS. It's designed to meet your website's exact needs. Rest assured, your website will be fast, secure, and stable. Elementor offers an integrated solution. WordPress with a design kit, the Hello Elementor theme, and the Elementor Pro Website Builder plugin, all pre-installed. Hello Elementor is a WordPress theme specially designed for Elementor websites. It's a lean and fast basic template devoid of unnecessary add-ons or code. Only what your website truly needs. How fast? Hello Elementor weighs a mere six kilobytes, allowing it to load in a quarter of a second. Hello Elementor is one of the most popular WordPress themes with over a million active installations, and it's my personal choice for every WordPress website I build. Elementor Website Builder, the pro version. Elementor Website Builder is the top builder in the WordPress realm. This modern and professional editor lets you build and edit every part of your website through a user-friendly drag and drop interface without requiring any coding skills. Elementor Website Builder is one of the most popular WordPress plugins of all time. It's installed on more than 13 million websites, available in multiple languages, and has received thousands of reviews from satisfied customers. With Elementor Website Builder, you've got everything you could ever need. A drag and drop editor with over 100 widgets, a theme builder, animations and advanced design capabilities, galleries, carousels, a form builder, an interface for saving leads, built-in integrations for advanced automation tools, built-in integration with the popular online stores plugin, WooCommerce, and a marketing package that includes a landing page builder and a pop-up builder. For convenience, Elementor comes with hundreds of ready-made templates and designs to kickstart your building process. You can build anything from full websites, pages, landing pages, blocks, and pop-ups. Elementor AI is an AI-based interface that assists you in writing content, coding, and generating images for your website. This way, Elementor AI simplifies the process of adding an image or text to your site. You no longer need to create a WordPress site out of 10 different products, struggling to figure out how each works, dealing with multiple payments, compatibility issues, and bouncing between different support and customer services. Even if all those technical terms seem overwhelming, Take my advice and choose Elementor. It's tailor-made to meet your needs. Now, after that long introduction, it's time to get started. To get started, the first thing we need to do is go to the Elementor website at elementor.com and click on the Get Started button to begin. Next, we'll see a variety of pre-designed templates that we can use as a starting point for our website. Take a moment to scroll through the kits and see which one catches your eye. If you want to take a closer look at a kit, you can click here to preview it. Let's go ahead and click on the Start with this design button to begin customizing the website. All right, it's time to start building your WordPress website with Elementor. Start by giving your website a name. I'll be using Gabriel Cooks because that's his handle on social media, but you can choose whatever you want. If you're still not sure, don't worry, you can change it at any time. Elementor Hosting assigns you with a temporary domain, which we can change later. Now, wait while the kit loads, which may take a few seconds or up to a few minutes, depending on your internet connection. Once it's ready, click Let's Go to begin customizing your new website. This will take you straight to the Elementor Editor, where you can start adding your own content and customizing the design to suit your needs. Now that you have created your account and chose the right plan for you, it's important to get familiar with your account dashboard. After all, this is where you'll do things like connecting a domain and removing the site lock to release your website to the World Wide Web. Firstly, here is my website that I just created. Any additional websites will appear here in this section. On the left here is my navigation to access the main areas of my account. 
Here on the top right is my avatar, and here I can view and edit my profile information. Back to the website. If I hover over my website, you'll see several options. The first one will have you jumping in and editing your homepage using Elementor right away. And the second one will take you to the WordPress dashboard. I will select manage this website and let's check this out together. This is the website management screen and here you can connect your custom domain name and enable email authentication before you launch a website. Next, you'll find the site lock option. As long as it's on, your website will be hidden from the outer world. But if you want to show your progress or want to get an opinion from a trusted friend, you can share this pin with them so they can privately view it. Down here, you'll find your website's backups. Elemental Hosting takes daily backups automatically for you. Very handy if you ask me. If you want to, you can still create a manual backup before you make any changes to your website. Finally, you'll see the debugging and troubleshooting options in case you need further investigation or if something isn't clear. All right, you're now on your way to creating a beautiful WordPress website with Elementor. We'll talk about Elementor in detail in a minute, but it's important to understand first the basics of WordPress and how it works. Welcome to the WordPress dashboard. When exiting the Elementor editor or logging into your website admin, you'll be greeted by this dashboard. The dashboard is like the control center of your website, where you can manage all aspects of your site, from creating and editing content to customizing the design. Starting from the top, we have the admin toolbar, which gives us quick access to different actions and tools. This toolbar is available on every page of the website and can only be seen by logged in users. Let's go over each one of the options and see what's available to us. From the left, we have this WordPress icon. Clicking on it will take us straight to the WordPress dashboard and we can always preview our site clicking on the name of our website seen here. Right next to it, we can see if we have any updates available. We can also view new comments and have access to quick actions such as creating a new page, a new post, adding users and more. We also have other features based on the plugins we install. For example, Elementor adds this support option at the end of the admin toolbar. Now, let's take a look at the left-hand side of the dashboard. You'll see a vertical menu with various options. Let's go over some of the key features and what they do. The posts section. Here, you can create new blog posts, manage existing ones, and even schedule them to be published at a later date. It's where you'll spend a lot of time crafting engaging content for your audience. Don't worry. We'll go into more details about this section later in the video. Clicking here will take us to the media library, or we can click here to add new media. Next, we have pages. Pages allow you to create static content like an about page, contact page, or any other important information you want to share with your visitors. And over here, we have all the elemental settings and templates, where we can access saved templates, pop-ups, or go to the theme builder. We'll discuss this in more detail shortly. Oh, and by the way, if at any point you want to change the kit you've chosen, you can do that using the kit library. In the appearance section, you can control the visual aspects of your WordPress website, such as installing a theme, customizing it, and editing the different menus. Under plugins, you'll find a wide range of, well, plugins. Plugins add new features and functionality to your WordPress website. From SEO optimization to contact forms and social media integrations, plugins are like little power-ups that can enhance your site in countless ways. For example, Elementor Website Builder is a plugin and one of my personal favorites, if we're being honest. Next, we have the Users section. This is where you can manage users' accounts on your website. And finally, we have Tools and Settings. Here, you'll find various options to configure your website's general settings, including permalink structure and more. Welcome to the Elemental Editor, where all your wildest dreams come true, assuming those dreams are web building related, that is. The editor is divided into three main areas, the content area on the right side, the panel on the left side, and the top bar. This is as far as we'll go for this one. Click the link appearing now to join me for a more detailed tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.